This is my 2016 John Deere S240 lawn tractor. I got this in May of 2016. It has run great spring, summer, fall, and even winter when I attach the snowblower attachment to this. I have had no issues from May 2016 up until last week when I had an electrical issue arise on this lawn tractor at almost a five-year mark. So what's going on with this was I did the maintenance kit. I ran it. It was running better than it's ran in the last year or so. And then I backed it in. And the next time I went to use it, I turned the key. And nothing happened. So I turned the key there. And nothing was happening. Just dead as a doorknob. So at first, I thought it was the battery. So that's the original battery from 2016. It was getting 12.5, 12.6 volts. I put the tender on it. And at that point, I was like, it can't be the battery. And then I thought, maybe it is the battery. Maybe it's just that got a bad cell. When I try to turn the key, it's just, you know, under load, it just drops off. But that was not the case. So that battery I probably could have kept, but I have a feeling it probably would have made it through the season. So I was at Tractor Supply the other day, and they're putting out batteries, and they have this battery here, the U1 300 cold crank amp battery, which is what the original has. And it was stamped May of 21, so the battery had to be produced within nine days of me buying this battery, so you can't really beat that for it. No, I put it in, turn the key, nothing. No cranking, nothing. I turn the key, silence. So I start asking online, the Facebook group. I start calling the John Deere dealership. And the first point was from the service guy from John Deere dealership who said it could be two things, solenoid or a bad switch. So he told me on the solenoid, there's a purple wire here. So first, check the fuse. Fuse is fine. It's a 20 amp fuse. Checked it. Fine. Second thing, check this purple wire. This purple wire is all the safety switches. The brake, the PTO, you're sitting on the seat. It's not sensing that it's in reverse. And when all the safety switches are engaged, this purple wire puts out 12 amps. I mean 12 volts. So 12 volts goes to that pin right there that powers on, that tells the solenoid when you turn the key to turn on. And it goes from the battery to there. That is all the safety switches. And once they're all engaged, you got 12 volts there when you turn the key. And then that bottom switch there, um, bolt there is from the solenoid to the starter. So I took this off and I had my neighbor sit on it, try starting it. And I was only getting point three volts should be putting out 12 volts so at that point i knew that there had to be a loose wire somewhere or a bad connector or a bad switch so i started i started with right there so that's the switch for the brake pedal so right now the emergency or the brake is locked in and if you want to see something there's two wires so there's two wires that go in. There's a purple, which is the power in. That should be 12 volts. And the purple with the white is when this is pushed in, that puts out 12 volts. So I checked that. That seemed okay, if I recall correctly. And then I checked the second thing. So the first thing he, the first call to the um, John Deere service, he said, this is mechanical. And this seems to be the first switch that fails on these tractors. And sure enough, I went onto here and you can see there's the harness. No, nope, that's the wrong harness. There's the harness. So this is the wire and harness going into the switch, the PTO switch. And I tested the key, it was, the 12 volts was going in. I tested this, 12 volts was going in, but only 0.3 volts was coming out when the key was getting turned. So at that point, I realized there's an issue with this switch or there's an issue with this wiring harness at this point. 
So from what I could tell, the those two wires seem a little loose. There's a little bit of um, corrosion on the connectors. And I've tried cleaning the connectors. I get it in. I push them in all the way. And I do get it to start. Now it starts. It's now this line. Once those two were in, I tested this line again. And 12 volts was coming here. So that meant that the issue was right there. And I just ordered a new PTO switch. So I don't know. Is it a loose connector or is the switch starting to flake out? So I'm not sure which of the two it is, but for $23, I got a new switch and that eliminates that as being the issue. And if anything, I just have to tweak then the pins or the these two wires that go in. I don't want to touch them because they're so, so sensitive right now. But those two wires going, one going in, one coming out, I have to just check those pins. And what I'm going to be planning to do is to, when I put the new one on, I'm going to get some contact grease and put it on those pins and put it into this con connector on the harness. As the John Deere service guy had told me, he said that should prevent it from corroding any further and should make a better contact. So hopefully that helps your issue. I'm going to just show you really quick all the switches. So here's your ignition. Ignition is there. This is the PTO switch. This is for the computer. Um, I showed the brake controller. There's one more switch that I did not know. And that switch is be under this tire. So it's under here. You have to go under. It's like near possible to get under here without jacking this up, but it's possible. It's actually back here behind the um, the frame. So I'm going to try to get this under here. It's actually, if I can get this to go where I want to go. You can almost see it. I think I can't. There it is. You can see it right there. You see the purple wire in and out. There's another one with a plunger there. And what that does is check whether the reverse pedal is engaged or not. The tractor will not start if it's in reverse. So under here, behind here. So if you go under here and you check. It's kind of hard to get there, but it's really hard to get there. So it's behind there, and that's the switch right there. So that switch is the reverse lockout. Luckily, it's not that switch because that switch looks like it's real hard to get to and replace without a jack. So hopefully that helps someone out. I was going crazy on this for the last week. I knew nothing about the electrical on this. I knew just the basic, how to do the basic maintenance on here. Oh, and there's also one more switch to check. Sorry about this, it's the last switch. There's a switch under this seat for checking whether or not you're sitting in the seat or not. So hopefully this helps someone out. If you're scratching your head, so at least you know where all the switches are. All right, so again, this purple wire, all you gotta do is take this purple wire off the solenoid and test it with someone sitting on it, trying to turn it on. And if 12 volts is coming through that wire, then you have a bad solenoid. If you don't have 12 volts going through that wire, that means that you have a loose wire or a bad connection or a bad switch somewhere. So first thing, check the brakes, check the PTO switch, um, check the power line going into, I guess, the ignition. Um, and hopefully you don't have to go under the back of the tractor to check the reverse and also check your seat. All right, so this is my S240. We're now at 67 hours. And when this went bad, which was weird, it was at 66.6 .6 hours was when this went, stopped running. So it was 66.6 .6 hours when this stopped running, which is really weird. All right, so I'm gonna post this on YouTube and hopefully this helps someone out 
because there's not much of it, many videos out there on the electrical system for these tractors.